All right, so this is IRS Form 8889, and there's a whole bunch of dangerous stuff that can happen if you forgot to file it. Okay, so that might be the reason why you're still processing or don't have a date. What is the IRS Form 8889? Okay, you can check it out in this article. If you are the beneficiary of a health savings account, then the IRS requires you to prepare Form 8889 with your tax return before you can deduct your con contributions to the account. The purpose of the form is to report your deductible contributions, calculate the deduction, report the distributions you take to pay medical expenses and to calculate uh, the tax you must pay on withdrawals you make for non-medical related purposes, man. That's what happens when you put your stuff in the banks, man. But anyway, what happens if you forgot? This is what's important. I forgot to report my SA distributions used to pay doctor bills when you filed, he filed uh, my return, which has been accepted by the IRS, these distributions will not affect what I owe. May I mail in form 8889 to report the distributions? Okay, so then we have the answers right here. It says, once the IRS has processed your tax return and you have received your refund, you will need to amend your tax return to include form 8889, okay? You will report your HSA distributions on form 8889 and deem which portion of the distributions were for qualified medical expenses. If 100% of the distributions were for qualified medical expenses, this will have no effect on your refund. So that's what you need to do. If you're new to the channel, do a Jet Lee sidekick to the like button and uh, sub notification.